NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. And it's all up next. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside m and Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Baltimore Ravens. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from m and Bank Stadium. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. We'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. It's not easy playing the corner, is it? A lot of times you got to defend against the pass, but sometimes you have to play against the run. How about the job he did there, crashing inside to make that tackle for a loss? On second down, here's Mahomes. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That's good for 28 yards. Well, they showed a five receiver set, had the backfield empty and lined the running back out to the left. Plenty for the quarterback to process both pre and post snap, but he was able to find his man and it turns into a big play. They fake the give, now Mahomes. That is incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 34-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Mahomes to throw once more. Touchdown, Kadarius Tony, 30 yards. 
yards. And the Chiefs are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So the drive there took six plays. And it's Kadarius Toney who caps things with a touchdown reception. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Returning it, Hill. The return man is Hill. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 23. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Here now, second and four. They run once more with Edwards. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he gets it up past the 35. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 45-yard line. Off the option, here's Edwards. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the 42-yard line, here's a second and seven. Now it's Jackson. He'll get this to Flowers, left side. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's third and four now. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. This now a third and four. Jackson now. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. 
I'll throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now a second and ten. And Jackson throwing once more. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. And we all know how talented this guy is. He's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. With shot Bateman, 29 yards. And the Ravens respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack in the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's Rashad Bateman who finished it all off with a touchdown. the kicks away and we see James he will not return it and they'll bring it out to the 25 Kansas City taking the field for their second drive a lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score but remember last time they were out they scored as well we'll see if they can seize that momentum right back and they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. On first down, Mahomes. He'll get this one to Kelsey. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Let's just call it, as we just saw right there, a breakdown defensively. Seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. 
So the completion good for seven there. And it brings up third and five now. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to. Touchdown! Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 14-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that the quick feet and nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 46 yards on the play. What a run there. I mean, you've got speed, elusiveness, escape ability all rolled into one. And we all know that quarterbacks are coached. They get the ball to the guys who can do all the things you just described. You want those guys who have speed, elusiveness, and escapability all rolled into one with the ball in their hands, and guess what? It's him. So there's no sense in throwing it or handing it off when you can do all of that yourself. Edwards now on first and 10. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. Now Jackson on second down. That's in the hands of Flowers over the middle. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 28. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. You always worry about those small receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. They'll throw on first down with Jackson to the right side into the hands of Flowers. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. And the hitch route has run really well. That jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw pulled in by Aguilar. Call it a gain of a yard, and that will bring up second down. Again, Jackson checks this down to Edwards out of the backfield. 
So the completion gets him just a yard, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good, and they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, Punt, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Tucker now following the main field goal, set to kick it away. And we see James, he will now return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And wrangled down quickly just past the 40 at the 41. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field and he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. And he's gonna find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job is simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing, but in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. Third and three as they've got it as we resume action. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Again, it's Edwards. 
A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. What an advantage having a leak guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. The Ravens on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and nine. To throw is Jackson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Waiting on it will be Richie James. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. And they will take over first and 10. KC's offense ready to take over. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 31 yard line. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And third and eight now. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Here's Tommy Townsend now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Ravens, they'll take over. First down, it's Jackson. Throw caught by Flowers. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. They go play action with Jackson. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Second and six. Now it's Jackson. He finds Bateman over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 63 yards receiving for him now. That last catch, good enough for a first down.
Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second down and six now. Here's Jackson to throw. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 30. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Well, we've seen Jackson already have success in the first half running the football, and he gets good yardage on the ground again there. I mean, how – I know it's a $64,000 question, <laughs> CD, but how do they contain him better? You have to win against the blockers ahead of you. If those guys even occupy a defender for even a half a second, then Lamar Jackson is gone. You've got to take those blockers and move them so that you have clear vision of Lamar Jackson, and hopefully you can have him in. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. It's a big place in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. From 13 yards out. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Well, the lost sleep that the defensive coordinator had all week preparing for this game, a good portion of it was trying to prepare for him because yeah. he's absolutely a phenomenal player. And a lot of times around the goal line, they know it's going to him. It's just so hard to stop. And that's where it really becomes difficult because you're exactly right. They know it's going to him, yet they still can't stop it. That tells you when you're a dominant player. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now 17-14. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards, and it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. 
Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. On second down, here's Mahomes. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it brings up third and five now. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. the target incomplete. So touchdowns on their first two drives, but looking like that won't be the case here. Yeah, it looks like someone put their dukes up a little bit, doesn't it? Maybe decided to finally make a stand because those first two drives, they got run over. Now, finally, got their feet under them, got a little bit of balance, they're getting off the field. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Ravens will get it. First and 10 from deep in their own territory. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 13. And they run with Edwards off the option. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains. That means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. On second down, here's Jackson. A slant route caught by Bateman. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, but fortunately he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first-half highlights and analysis from a back-and-forth first half that we've seen. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can and build on that stop. On third down, Jackson. They set up the screen to Hill. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Two first downs have them up to the 41 now for first and 10. Jackson now. Able to locate Andrews here on the out route. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Here's Jackson. He finds Aguilar over the middle. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And he's going to get the 
this one down near the 45-yard line. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second and seven. Jackson. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They thought he can win every battle. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it's Jackson. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Chris Jones. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a terrific first half from the dual threat quarterback, Lamar Jackson. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. second half and Hill will opt for the touchback out come the Ravens now they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter and they've got the lead CD what do you expect from them in this second half well I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball and I certainly think we'll see more of that but I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Off the option, here's Edwards. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Throwing is Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a 
touchdown. And Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead. This is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 49-yard line. Up the middle, here's Edwards. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. And they run with Edwards off the option. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Third and two, here's Jackson. A looking deep here for Flowers. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Too long for a field goal. Too short to punt that in between range. And they'll go for it on fourth down. Looking to throw. Jackson. Pass taken in. Tight end, and he is going to have a Ravens first down. They go for it on fourth and two, and it's a gain of six. Fourth and two, they got it. That was kind of that gray area. Is that a feel thing, whether you go run or pass there offensively? I think it's a feel thing. It's a tendency thing about what you like to do yourself on offense, as well as knowing how strong they are against the run on defense. Got to make a decision, and they made the correct one. He's got his man downfield. That's Bateman. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. They go play action now. Jackson. And that will be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Ravens take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Jackson and the Ravens still on the field. They'll go for two. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on it. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Tucker down to kick it away following the touchdown. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. 
And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Mahomes now on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Rice. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Mahomes going to throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there. Those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. And it's straight. It's Pacheco. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Travis Jones makes a tackle. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And incomplete on the deep ball. the Chiefs punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Jackson on first down. That'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Second down and a yard. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the belt three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Well, they've certainly spread the ball around so far, but they're definitely getting everyone involved now when you're throwing it to the fullback. 
just shows how versatile this offense is and how everyone is a threat. Second and five. Play action. It's Jackson. Going for Bateman. He's got him on the out route. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Keeps himself upright. Incomplete. Well, that wasn't a completion, but it wasn't a sack either. So the good takeaway, able to extend the life of the play. Normally, you would think he'd just take off and run downfield, but he was trying to find an open receiver, unable to do so. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. And Jackson throwing once more. The short one there caught by Likely. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. And he'll get this all the way down to the Chiefs' 10-yard line. A big-time game there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. So this play, you know, until recently, only something you'd probably expect to see in a college game, but running quarterbacks are certainly in vogue, and this turned into a big play. And you and I both know that for a long time, coaches worried about their quarterbacks taking too much punishment, running plays like this, and they still worry about it. But when you can break off big chunks of yardage like that, it's worth the risk, plus you're coaching that quarterback to see those guys coming and get down before the big hit occurs. Play action. Now Jackson. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. There's Flowers. He's got it. Touchdown, Ravens. From 19 yards away. And the Ravens go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. And certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Tucker able to connect on the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And we see James, he will not return it and they'll bring it out to the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're gonna try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 
I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And yeah, he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. And give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional, in the battle of game plans, theirs has been superior. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Gets this into the hands of Gray, the tight end. And he will have a Chiefs first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. Oftentimes, we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. We're in Baltimore. Third quarter action, second and ten. Mahomes now to throw. Throw left side, completion to Rice. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That'll give him eight that time. And now two yards to go on third down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. On third and short, going with their tight end. And he will have a Chiefs first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Now here's Mahomes. The pass complete on the crossing route. This is Tony with it. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. Here's Mahomes to throw. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage but it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to... And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Clyde edwards Elair, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, 
and they've got a puncher's chance. Butker on for the PAT. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it was Clyde Edwards-Alaire capping it all off with a touchdown reception. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Baltimore Raven offense returns, and we see wide receiver Rashad Bateman bringing him out. And I know that they double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like right? this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. The drive will start with an option going left. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw a defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance. And now off to the races, down the right side. Off to the races, moving inside the 20. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, 87 yards. And the Ravens have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. It seemed like they had maybe given up momentum, but not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again. And you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. Tucker now for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The Chiefs on third down, three for seven so far in this game. They're up against a third and one situation. That is caught, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? 
Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A well-executed 22-yard game. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Throwing now is Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Personal foul, roughing the passer. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Butker now to add the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 18. They'll start out here with the option left. Jackson hit and he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football. And the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game. So hold on here. Not done in the fourth. KC's offense ready to take over. They trail by two scores in the fourth. And their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery. And time to see what this offense has left in the tank. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down.
Mahomes going to throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They'll run here with Pacheco. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. But down here near the goal line, you don't think of a cornerback in run coverage, but he made the stop. Yeah, most of the cornerbacks we know, they want to be those pass defenders and take away one half of the field. But the best ones in the game are the complete cornerbacks able to touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Butker on for the PAT. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that drive, four plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Now, Charles, of course, you got to remember, last possession they fumbled, it led to a touchdown. One score game here, got to be careful. And this is where coaching and training really comes into play, doesn't it? What, is it? what does everyone say after an error? Next play, move on, next drive. That mantra has to come to the front. They've got to take care of business right here and act like the last series just didn't happen. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Now second and nine. Jackson now. That's complete, left side to Bateman. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Jackson gonna keep it running right. Get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. And Jackson going to hold on to it again. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Considering they've seen him have some big gains against him throughout this game, that's got to feel like a measure of revenge as they trap him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. On third down, Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. 
First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. To throw, it's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Mahomes now on first down. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Tony. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Had the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That went into the hands of Tony downfield. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped it to one. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Here we go. First and goal. Pacheco is in. Touchdown, Chiefs. Still an important piece of business to take care of the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. This crowd, boy, in a state of shock. What was once safely in hand is now a tie game as the kick is away here. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Ravens ready to take over. 
Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Here's first and ten. Jackson to throw. Throw caught by Flowers. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. A good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Here's second down. Jackson. They set up the screen to Hill. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. A big play here, third and two. Jackson. Pass complete to Edwards. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and ten. Throwing, Jackson. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete <laughs> a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Here's Jackson. His throw incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Now Jackson. Flush to his right. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. The Ravens send their putter out now as he's on to kick it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25 to will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. This is first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Four quarters not enough. We're all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled?
So it's the Ravens who won the toss. They'll get the football first here in overtime as the kick is away. The dangerous hill now to return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And the Ravens taking the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start by running the option to the right. There he goes, right side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, that last run for a first down, it really should be the last call for the defense. I don't care how many they've had in the box, they need to add more people. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. To the right side, this is Edwards. And down to the 41. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And they'll come up second and seven. The option right is Jackson. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. He lost four there, and it's third down. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think his big boys up front, that offensive line, they've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. First throw in overtime now for Jackson. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well done by the defense. They did their job here in overtime. Boy, did they ever, because now it's fourth and really long. So if you do decide to go for it, people think you might be a little bit on the nut side, don't they? But guess what? If I did decide to go for it, I'd call something deep. I'd throw a deep pass and hope that the defense didn't remember to just knock it down. If they intercept it, it's almost like a great punt. It helps out your defense with field position. Oh, that's so deflating, Brandon, because you know he was thinking to himself, just give me a shot. Just put us in a position to win the game, and I'll get it done. But this kick, not on target, and we'll keep going here. And now here comes Kansas City. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points, and now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. But we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play it. First throw of overtime for Mahomes. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Second down and four. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll get this down to the 35-yard line. They go back to that well. He's had a great game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call. But when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, keep giving it to him. That tells me you're mature as a play caller. There he goes, left side. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. 
Meanwhile, Mahomes throw complete there to Rice. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he is in for the score! And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. 